All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Evan. I've been getting a lot of questions about modulation in Anakari, and uh, we have some like really professional tutorial videos coming, but it might be weeks before that happens. Uh, so I figured I'd just throw together a super scrappy video. Um, don't expect a real high quality video, but hopefully I can explain some of the basic things about modulation that haven't been explained really well. Uh, so here I'm in Ableton. Uh, other DAWs are going to look a little bit different. And this is just the default instrument. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to show is using a host parameter uh, automation. So this object, the host parameter, is the thing that you use if you want to map a parameter uh, to something controllable by the host, like Ableton or Fruity Loops or whatever. And so I've created this host parameter. I've selected it. <clears throat> And we can see it's got parameter ID, custom zero. Uh, I'm gonna come in and set the display name to something. So let's call it uh, the wiggly thing. Uh, and now if we go down in Ableton, this is the plugin window. Oops, I'm looking at the uh, wrong plugin. In Ableton, this is the plugin window. And now we see that there's a parameter here called wiggly thing. And if I move that parameter in Ableton, you can see that it's, you know, happen do something is happening in Anakari. So, just creating this hooks it up to the DAW, but it does not cause anything to be modulated. So what I need to do is connect this to something that I want to modulate. So in this case, let's connect it to this free body. And you get this green line. And the green line, when you highlight it, lets you choose what it's gonna modulate, the depth of modulation, and other modulation parameters. So now, if I play some notes, and then I move the a uh, knob for that. And I could increase the depth, and now we'll see it has a much larger effect. So now it's modulating the mass. Uh, yeah, and so, you know, if you're an Ableton user, you'll know how to then go and, you know, create an automation lane for this thing or whatever. And like I said, other DAWs are going to be a little bit different in how they handle it. But if you want to expose parameters to modulate inside the DAW, this is one way to do it, and it's uh, pretty much the simplest way. Uh, one thing I want to uh, show here is that you can, you know, connect this to many things, so it can modulate multiple things. It can modulate different kinds of entities. Um, if you want to modulate a lot of parameters, uh, one thing you can do is highlight the things you want to connect it to. Then click on this, right click on the modulator, connect to all selected objects. Boom. Connected to all those things at once. I could even select everything, connect them to that. And then I could, you know, edit the uh, connections. Uh, okay, so the uh, next kind of modulator I want to show is uh, MIDI. So MIDI controller here. Uh, it looks like this for the default skin. Again, it's just like the host parameter modulator. you got to connect it to the thing you want to modulate. And in this case, I connected it to an anchor. I'm going to, yeah, position X. Uh, so here, to connect it to some MIDI knob, uh, let's see. Okay, the track is armed. Uh, I'm going to say Sense. I'm going to click Sense over here after selecting it. And you can't see it because this is a rough video, but I'm turning a knob. And now it sensed it, it assigned it to um, MIDI CC1. If I sense and turn a different knob, and I turned the eight knob on my keyboard, and so now that knob is attached to this. Um, like any other modulation source, um, and this is in, includes LFOs or you know whatever, uh, you could connect this to as many things as you want. You can change the depth, you know, all the other parameters. So those are the basics of modulation. I think for most people, the thing you're looking for to modulate things in like lanes inside your DAW is the host parameter modulator. And I hope that this is uh, helpful in terms of getting that set up.